and welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> On this video, I'm riding the Aerial Rider Grizzly. Been a little bit since I've taken the Grizzly out for a ride, so I thought today I would give it a shot here. Every once in a while, the Grizzly has to be unleashed, so today is the day. Totally different ride than uh, when I ride on the uh, graffiti. The first thing you notice right away is how much heavier this bike is. It's really noticeable. You sit a little bit different on this bike. The positioning is a little different. I think it's partly the handlebars. Uh, it's got a smaller seat on it. I have the original seat on here, so it's smaller. You can't sit back further than what the seat is unless you want to sit on the metal whereas the uh, graffiti has a longer seat for uh, two riders and uh, After not riding it for a little bit, it always takes a few minutes to get the feel of it again. school is just letting out here so I guess I picked a bad time to come down here that yeah, that's a little better the other thing you notice or I notice all the time and you can probably hear it yourself is how loud the grizzly is with these uh, hub motors especially with both of them going Graffiti now with their fearless 
hub motor. It's pretty quiet. No problem going up the hill. There's two names I have for this bike, and one of them is the Beast, the other one is Tank, because it literally is a tank or a beast. I'm back to uh, riding uh, with just the rear motor. It's nice to have that second motor though if you need uh, for hill climbing, etc. Or if you need quick acceleration. As I've said many times, that's the best part about this bike, having the two motor uh, set up. It's more, if it didn't have the second motor, this bike would be uh, very ordinary in my opinion. Um, and it wouldn't stand out. It's that second motor that makes this bike really stand out. Otherwise, you know, it's, it's still got some get up and go though, even with just running the one motor, but where this bike really shines is with that second motor. Whenever you want to flip the switch, like right here, easily put you over 30 miles an hour no problem over the speed bump here. the familiar uh, grizzly sound. Be a little more difficult to sneak up on somebody with this bike. almost throws you back there a little bit of when you hit that throttle with especially with both motors going and you just give it a you can feel it pull you back like it's launching definitely some torque there And that's what happens, you heard that, when you uh, have the uh, front motor on <laughs> and you forget that you have that on and you're slowing down and then taking off quick again, it'll, if you're not careful, it can uh, catch you by surprise and might 
throw you for a loop there. You don't want that. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you for coming along on the for the ride on the uh, Aerial Rider Grizzly. It's been a while. Good to get out on the Grizzly once in a while. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. If you'd like to make a comment on this or any other videos, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget, we have several other videos on the channel. There's uh approaching 250 videos now on the channel so uh if you want to check some of the past videos out uh go right ahead and do it and um let me know what you think so once again thank you for joining me on this video and until next time take care